As the threat of war looms, China still sees a path back from the brink. The most pressing issue right now is to take up negotiations again. At a meeting in Berlin, Foreign Minister Wang Yi said Beijing would do all it could. Of course China is against the DPRK developing nuclear weapons, and we too think that it's not in the DPRK's interest. But the DPRK always claims that the development of nuclear weapons is in response to an American military threat. A threat that appears unpopular on both sides of Korea's demilitarized zone. South Koreans protested the U.S. TAD missile defense system expected to be operational in days. It's another reason why China sees the Korean conflict as one mainly between Pyongyang and Washington. Easing trade tensions was also high on the agenda in Berlin, as it was in Beijing a week ago during a visit by the EU's foreign policy chief. At a time of so many global uncertainties, there appears to be an effort underway to patch up significant differences. Both sides spoke of an open and friendly meeting. We do not expect that China will become an open economy, just like the German economy, from one day to another. However, we agree that this opening must happen step by step and that we need an equal partnership with the same conditions for Chinese companies in Germany and Europe as for German companies in China. Wang Yi called the issue a hindrance for ties that otherwise appear to be rapidly broadening. Guy Henderson, CGTN, Berlin.